Hello and welcome again to my channel, Born Star Sanctuary. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Today's lesson is mathematics. In mathematics, we will be looking at or focusing on linear measurement. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, pupils would be able to define linear measurement, state the length of an object, calculate the length of an object. Now, when it is that I say calculate the length of an object, in this lesson, what I wish for you to gather parents, you can stop the video here and gather, you can gather an exercise book your child's language arts textbook, some pencils, some crayons, and erasers, some erasers if you have a lot of erasers, but the eraser should be the same type of eraser. Should they have blocks, but whatever it is that they are using, it should be the same because they would need to have several of it in order to calculate the measurement. Right, so definition. Linear measurement is used to state how long or short something is. And here I have two examples on the screen. The first one we are focusing is on the pencil. So count the paper clips with me. One, two, three, four. So as the statement, as the sentence states, this pencil is four paper clips long. In the other picture here, we have a crayon. And when you count it, one, two, the crayon is two paper clips long. So depending on the size of the objects, the amount of paper clips that would be required to measure it would vary. So parents, if you have paper clips, you can try that also. We are using whatever we have in our environment to enhance our learning experience. So, as I mentioned before, the objects that you needed to collect, here's a list of them. Collect the following objects. Some pencils, your language arts textbook. So, students, your language arts textbook is what you are using. Crayons, ensure that your crayons and the pencils that you are using is the same length. Eraser, you would need a few erasers ensure that all your erasers are the same brand or the same size exercise book so we are selecting only one exercise book or if you have a notebook you can use the notebook also you read in textbook that's your Caribbean rhythm reader you are going to select that reader and guess what you're going to use your lunch kit so if you have a lunch kit or a lunch bag we are going to use that also. So we are using whatever we have in our environment for learning. Parents, should you have paper clips, you can use the paper clips also. So here we have the activity. So you are going to put your exercise book on the desk. And along the side of it, you are going to line off your erasers on this side. Based on how many erasers fit on the exercise book, your would be the answer for the number of ex erasers that the exercise book is long. So parents, please, please, please ensure that you are using the same type of eraser. If you don't have an eraser and you choose to use paper clips, you will just change your sentence, well, the part of the sentence that states the eraser or the crayons or the pencil, whichever one you are using based on what you have in your environment. If you are using blocks, then you would change the statement. So when I, you are recapping it, the child will remember what object they used to measure the object. So this language arts textbook is, and you state how whatever it is that you are using to measure the language arts textbook. Remember, the reading textbook is the Caribbean reader rhythm reader that your child would have been using, and then the lunch kit. You are not measuring the height of the lunch kit; you are actually measuring the flat surface that 
would be on the counter the child would line out the pencils or any object to state the length of the lunch kit so we have come to the end of today's lesson where we would have focused on linear measurements using objects and things in our environment so thanks again for tuning in parents remember to like share and subscribe and let's continue to grow in our environment see you again bye